You get me. Loose hips in the house. Hey, if you, if you guys feel like starting like that, go ahead and start like that. <laughs> Stefan's all about those interpretive dance warm ups. <laughs> All right, guys, nine o'clock. Playlist is in the chat. Recordings are on. Oh, cool. All right. Uh, before we start moving, we're going to get that playlist queued up here. We're going to go in five, in three, two. All right, starting that playlist. Post it in the chat, post it on our Instagram. Some nice chill music for your Saturday. Hope you guys uh, have some good plans for the little bit of a break. Hopefully you have a break. We're just gonna go into a forward fold. Move those hips side to side. Bounce it out a little bit, let that head hang. Got some hinging. We don't want to stay too long in those stretches. Still want those snappy hips, so a little bit of tightness in our muscles, but uh, just hanging out. And whenever we're ready, left hand, our left elbow in the left thigh, rotating across. Oh, one of my favorite movements, because I always feel that tension in my low back kind of dissipate. How good does that feel? So good. All right, if you guys see anything that's off, hit me up in the chat. Otherwise, looking good here. Good guys, let's go ahead and drop our butt down. We'll hang out here for a second. You can draw those circles. So whenever we're in that tabletop position, we're putting pressure into our wrists, moving side to side. This is kind of the same idea, just for our ankles. You guys, and just because we're in plank today, let's go ahead and go down into our hands and knees. Okay, again, whatever you feel like you need here, we can rotate around. I've got those toes tucked, but Stefan has them under here either way and if you want to switch as you move forward and back that feels good too good just slightly getting into those wrists good if we want to try to go backwards so fingertips pointing towards us okay this one our weight's going to be a little bit more over our hands there and as we rock our butt back that's where the tension really comes in Good, you can move that neck around. Nice guys, let's get some cat cows up in here. Ooh, going to the back of the wrist. You see people going full plank on the back of their <laughs> no, 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 no. No one's doing that here. <laughs> oh, oh, full <laughs> plank position. Crazy. <laughs> that was impressive. Good guys, since we have a, a few pullovers today, we'll go a little bit wider on our, our uh, stance here. And reaching out long, pressing into the ground. You can also play around with those hips too if you want it to go a little bit into Frogger. Playing around with that. That position sucks for me. Sucks for a lot of people. <laughs> Good, not too long there. Pop it back up into plank position. You can rotate. Three on one side, three on the other. Big rotations.
So happy to be teaching today. Stefan asked me at the beginning of the week if I wanted to teach or take the class yesterday. I foolishly chose take the class, <laughs> not realizing that, uh, you know, let's go ahead and drop our hips. We can drop hips down, we can look over our shoulder, okay, kind of bounce those hips side to side. We can also go into up dog here, or down dog, pressing the ground away. Really thinking about those shoulder blades, pressing hard, good, pedaling out those feet. Let's get one more of those. Yeah, after this little stint, definitely sore. Good, that last one, guys, we can walk it to standing. Let's just get a few hinges here, maybe 10. So pushing those hips back. Got some, huh? Oh, we got some snatches today. Some swings. Good. Once you're done there, guys, you can go into a pendulum lunge. We'll get three on one side, three on the other. Stepping forward and back, you can meet in that center position or hover that leg. Boom, three one side, three the other. Go, when you got three and three, kicking across your body. Little mummy walks. You don't have to walk anywhere, just kicking across. Good, and just for fun, let's go three on our right side, keeping those toes pointed forward. Three on the other side. We're going to a light twisty bounce here. Good guys, keep it going, another 10 seconds on that bounce. Blood pumping. All right, guys, taking it to butt kickers, heel to glute. Good, we'll go a single leg here, reaching down with a little hop. Let's go five one side, five the other. Yep, trying to wake up, guys. Just signaling to our body that we're we're getting ready to move. Something's gonna happen. We don't know what. Good. Let's go jumping jacks here, out wide with those hands. What's that? It's hot in here. Good. Hopefully that heart rate's elevated just a little bit. Um, just want to spend some time in those shoulders and in that neck. So. Last 60 seconds here, we'll go arms extended out, okay? All we're doing is we're trying to pull shoulders up into our ears, pulling them back, squeezing that mid back, nice long neck, and then extending forward. So big rotations here. Trying to keep those arms level, just a way to provide some feedback, isolating that movement in our shoulder, creating some nice circles. And whenever you're done, however many you did one direction, let's go ahead and flip it around the other direction. Good guys, when we're done there, reaching over and across. Big movement there. Hands out in that T position. We're going internal rotation, external rotation. Also look over that palm to get a little bit deeper. The palm that's up. Good guys, last one here, extending through our fingertips. Okay, you're gonna either one of three or all three. You can look over your shoulders. Okay, you can draw big circles. Or you can draw 
ears to shoulder, okay? Whatever you want here, just did a few of those, a few of each. All right, guys. We need bands, kettlebells, or weights. I think that's it. All right, uh, so the structure today. We've got six different groups that we're gonna focus on. Uh, before we get through all six, we're just gonna tackle it uh, one by one, okay? So we're gonna focus, focus on the first group of moves. We've got that AB switch style. So the way this is gonna look is first movement, I'm gonna put 30 seconds on the clock, okay? We'll get through that first movement. After completing that first movement, we're going right into two other movements that are rep-based, okay? Those two other movements, you'll see they're gonna be repeated uh, throughout the workout, so you're gonna get a lot of them. Uh, so be prepared for that. All right, so using the first one as an example here, we've got land it, <laughs> land it, band it lateral walks. So band coming around our ankle, boom, right there. Yeah, all we're doing is booty down low, Stepping out to the side, keeping a little bit of tension in that band. These don't have to be big monster steps here, just little guys keeping that tension in the band. So once we have 30 seconds there, we'll go immediately into five and five front lunge, stepping forward. Okay, that's one. There's one. We got five and five, followed by ooh, five lat pullovers that weighs directly over my chest. I'm gonna reach back and then use my lats, again, pulling directly over my chest. So 30 seconds on the lateral band walks, followed by front lunge and lat pullovers. All right, looks like we're ready in house. I'll keep an eye on you guys. We got 30 seconds on the clock. Stefan's got those hips going, we're going. First movement, lateral banded walks going in three, two. Let's get it, guys. Good little choppy steps here. And when we're in these bandit movements, much like those abdominal movements, it's time under tension. Okay, it's not necessarily uh, how big the movements are, but we're taking it slow, slowing it down, and there's a lot of work to be done in that. We got 10 seconds left. Good work. And if you guys don't have a band, same thing, just keep it low and that's time. All right, grabbing that weight, front lunge. What you smiling at? I didn't know that, was time. that was time, it was time. <laughs> front lunge, five and five. Good guys, keep it going. That back knee dropping into hover, two inches, an inch off the ground, forward knee. Staying in line with that ankle, not going over your toes. Five one side, five the other. You guys are setting the pace on this movement. I'm gonna rely on Stefan here in house. Keep an eye on your cameras too. Once you got five and five front lunges, five lat pullovers. All right. We're done here. I see a lot of backs on the ground. All right, I see heads popping up. So that was number one. Uh, this is, we're just going our first time through these six, okay? We have three times total through these six. Um, second and third time through, we'll go a little bit quicker, but I'll make sure you have break periods in between. So uh, second grouping here, we got double hand snatch. Kettlebell down in between my legs here. You can do the same thing with the uh, dumbbell and I can demonstrate that here in just a second. But wait between, okay, we're gonna use those hips to generate that power, pulling those elbows up high and finishing up overhead. So. Okay, uh, touching down each time, finishing up overhead. So we got 30 seconds there, immediately following that. Kettlebell swings, flat back, coming about eye level, okay? We got 10 there, 
and then five and five plank pull throughs in a plank position. Okay, my right hand's gonna reach across towards my left side, setting down, same on the other side, five and five there. Starting with those double hand snatches, we got 30 seconds on the clock. We're going in three, two, let's get it guys. Good, so that finishing position here, up nice and tall, one straight line. Looks beautiful, Stefan. 10 seconds, guys. Powerful hips. Takes a lot of shoulder mobility to end up in that top position. We got five seconds. Three, two, that's time. All right, right into those swings. Didn't even set the weight down. Animal. 10 swings, guys. 10 kettlebell swings, followed by five and five plank pull throughs. Nice swings, Christy. Tom V rolling solo. I love it. Great swings with that dumbbell. Go five and five on those plank pull throughs, reaching across your body. That work is coming in your torso wanting to shift, your weight wanting to redistribute where it's at. You're fighting all that. And you're pulling across, five and five. Woo. Good work, guys. Almost all done. All right, guys. Group three, here we go. We got leg lifts, so coming down, flat K, arms can be teed out here, reaching up, or right back down, pointing those heels towards the ceiling, flexing those toes if you want, getting those hips off the ground just a little bit. That's that 30 second movement. And then we're going back into those front lunges. So with the weight, five front lunges on both legs, so 10 total, followed by five lat pullovers. Again, really thinking about those lats as you bring that weight over. All right. Number three of six, we're down on the ground. We're going in three, two, and let's get those leg lifts, guys. 30 seconds here. As it comes in. Good, that's 10 seconds. Good, we got that little booty lift. We got 10 seconds left. Final three, two, and that's time. All right, going immediately into that front lunge and lap pull over, five and five front lunge. Oh yeah. Feeling it, guys. What's up, Leah? Danielle, Camacho. Good, five one side, five the other side. And protect those knees, guys. Lap pullover up next. And just five lap pullovers. And this is one where I feel like squeezing into that kettlebell really adds some intensity in there. Yeah. <laughs> Crush that kettlebell. Stefan said he'd buy you a new one if you did. Yep. <laughs> all right. I see you guys all popping up here. Got a few. If you're still down on the ground, just try to pop your head in the camera so I can show you that next one. All right, so we got up, down, curl. <laughs> I'm going to keep this in um, the top position here, okay? We'll drop down, knee, knee, up, up, one curl, and then holding in that top position, switching which leg I step back with, okay? 30 seconds there, and then immediately going back in two. 
swings, and plank pull-throughs. So 30 seconds on the clock for those up-down curls. We're going in three, two, let's get it, guys. So Stefan added a little bit of protection here in house for those knees. You got a yoga mat, or maybe even carpet might be nice. Good, curling at the top, keeping those elbows in close. What was that? Stefan's telling jokes, guys, you just can't hear. We got three, two, and that's time, guys. All right, going in two, 10 swings, five and five plank pull throughs. Powerful, snappy hips. Snappy hips are happy hips. It's your power source. It's the mitochondria of the, the body. I think the mitochondria is the mitochondria of the body. <laughs> but your hips are your powerhouse. It's where all your power comes from. <laughs> <laughs> Going down to the ground, five plate pull throughs. <laughs> there, yeah. <laughs> they get it. They get it. <laughs> five plate pull throughs, guys. Five and five. Woo. Already sweating in house. Good work, homie. All right. That's four sweaty boys in the building. All right, double hand press to skull, cr <laughs> skull crush here. Oh, man. Oh, so all we're really saying here is a chest press with the tricep extension. So press it up from our chest, okay? Boom, okay, elbows are gonna stay high. Movement's happening uh, by my uh, my elbows bending and bringing that weight, okay? Kind of overhead before I extend back up. So there's a reason why it's called a skull crusher. I just bop myself in the head, okay? If you don't want to do that, you can bring elbows up a little bit higher and reach them back kind of behind your head there. But 30 seconds of that press to skull crusher, thinking of chest and triceps. Because you want to make that mind-body connection, chest and triceps. I got 30 seconds on the clock. We're going in three, two, and let's get it, guys. All right, and don't forget, immediately following this, you got front lunges followed by lat pullovers. So this is a little different than that lat pullover. Looks like a similar movement, except with that lat pullover, we're reaching far, keeping those arms fully extended. Here, that movement's just happening by my elbow bending. Keep it going, guys. Five seconds. Three, two, and that's time. All right. Five and five front lunge, five lat pullovers. And as you go through those lat pullovers, acknowledge the difference between those two movements. Maybe try one of the tricep extension and then do the lat pullover. Oh man, last one looks like the best one. Great work, guys. Did you start with the lap pullovers? Oh shit. Come <laughs> <laughs> on. Trying to sneak away. <laughs> no, no, no. They're still they're still moving. Wait, is that hash brown? Wait, who, who's hash brown? Uh, Justin and Drew. No, there's a new hash brown in the building. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> we got a new crew in the house. Nice. We are heavy. All right, guys. Last one here. Oh, let me pin my camera back. All right, so we got in, out, squat. You can keep that weight down low for this movement. So squatting with kind of a normal stance here, actually. 
will pop up, out, in, out, in, okay? So sort of like those bell hops yesterday, except there's some movement in that squat position and we're squatting down each time, okay? 30 seconds there, followed by 10 swings, five and five plank pull throughs, 30 seconds on the clock, in three, two, let's get it guys. Let's see some power. Good, still getting that hip extension to stand up at the top. Not fully opening up those hips though. 10 seconds. It's a real bun buster here. We got three, ah, two, and that's time. All right, you're perfectly set up for those swings. 10 swings. And again, this is another good one to fill the difference between what a squatting motion and what a hinging motion feels like. For me, people can talk to me all day. Sometimes cueing helps, but it's actually filling the difference between the two moves. So that was the hinge. And then we're going down to the ground, five plank pull throughs, five on one side, five on the other. Get it guys. Almost one round through, second and third round. We know what to do. We'll be a little bit more timed. All right, one down. Take a little foot five. Boop. All right, so that was first one through. We got two more just like that. What we're gonna do here is, after you get through lateral bandit walks, five and five front lunge, five lateral, or excuse me, lat pulls, okay? You'll get through that. Once I see everyone's head pop up, we got 30 seconds to chill. Don't stop moving, don't sit on the couch, okay? Bounce around, wiggle around, do whatever you need to do. Keep that blood flowing, okay? But we wanna be fresh for that next group of moves. So again, we'll get through one group. I'll wait for everyone to pop up. We got 30 seconds to shake it out and then we'll go right back to it. All right, so just like we said, grabbing our bands, Lateral, banded, walk. Gotta say that one slow. Lateral, banded, walk. All right. <laughs> Milky White's in the house. Let me turn the lights down. I don't wanna blind you guys. All right, bands are ready. We got 30 seconds on the clock. We're going in three, two, let's get it guys. Good. If you keep that butt down low, just creates a little bit more tension. Should feel those glutes firing up. 15 seconds left, guys. Good, just giving a little here. Five seconds. We got three, two. All right, front lunges. Five and five. Ditching that band and try to move immediately into those two rep based movements. Okay. Like I said, the, the rest period is going to come after. We're going to try to keep everyone together here. So, to help with that, for you guys to help keep the pacing, we'll all try to immediately get into those rep based movements. Five and five front lunge, five lat pulls. Yeah, buddy. Down to the ground. Some movements happening in our shoulders, not in our triceps. So that shoulder joint is making that movement happen. Lats pulling, lats firing. We got five. Woo. All right, 30 seconds here. Cool, all right, another 20 guys. Second movement, remember we got that double hand. Whew. Elbows up high, pulling into that snatch position. That one's gonna be a beast for 30 seconds. What's the hardest movement for 30? In out squat, all right. Let me know in the chat what you think. But we're getting ready, we got five seconds. 
We're going in three, two, let's get it, guys. Nice work. Good job pulling those elbows up high. Good work, Madea. Looks beautiful, guys. And that's time. All right. Right into those kettlebell swings. Oh, man. Dude's not messing around today. He came to get it. I don't know what he's got planned for the next two days, but maybe he feels guilty about it because he's working hard. No guilt ever. Fuck. Or, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Good. Down to the ground. Plank pull throughs. There's nothing more that I appreciate than someone who can just do them wholeheartedly. No filter. Good. Five and five, guys. When you got five and five. I'm watching the camera here. I see heads popping up. Good, 30 seconds. Next one, down on the ground, down on our backs. So we got those leg lifts, okay? Followed by a five and five front lunge, five lat pulls. And if I was working out in house, or in my own house, those leg lifts, I'd probably grab my weight and do my lat pulls before I got up off the ground. Some might say that's laziness. I think it's efficiency, but you do you. All right, we're going to those leg lifts. We got three seconds, two, and let's get it. Ooh, Stefan added some weight here, taking it up a notch. Leg lifts, bringing those heels towards the ceiling. Nice straight legs, flexing. Good job, Christy. Keep it going, guys. About 10 seconds here. Grant Shoe in the building. The shoes. The shoes. The shoes. He got three, two, and that's time, guys. All right. We got a pair of shoes. Lat pullovers, front lunge. You know, these guys are good at following instructions. Barbara's doing the lunges first. Good job, Julie. You guys, five and five, five lap pullovers. We got Andy's favorite coming up. I don't know if Andy's on, but if she's watching the recording, I know you're shaking your head right now. She doesn't like the up downs. All right, guys. So we got up down curl, up down curl. If you have that knee protection, okay, you can use that. Weights in that top position, dropping down, standing up, boom, curl. Don't get lazy with those drop downs. There's periods of time where weight's in one leg and not the other. So strong movements. Another 15 seconds. All right, we're getting ready to go. We're grabbing that weight, bringing it to our chest. First set of up downs, 30 seconds. We're going in three, two, let's get it, guys. Up down with a little curl, little curl at the top. And by little, I mean a full curl. Oh, extra curl at the bottom. <laughs> I can never do a curl without saying buys for the guys, right. curls for the girls. So frustrating that I can't say anything else. Three seconds. So <laughs> That's time, guys. All right. We're into those 10 swings. 
10 swings, five and five plank pull throughs. A lot of swings today. 10 times six, that's 60. Five and five pull throughs. It's not 90. 10, 10 times six, 60. Yeah, so 60, 120, 180. 180. Swings, yeah. Oh, you're right, you're right. All right, 90 swings. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Strong finish, guys. become abundantly clear, especially with all these recordings that I'm terrible at counting. <laughs> you guys just had to listen to me mouth math. All right, up next, we got a chest press, the tricep extension, double hand press, the skull crusher, whatever you want to call it, followed by a five and five, front lunge, five. What are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're down on the ground. Double hand press, tricep extension. And let's get it, guys. 30 seconds. Hey, looking good. Looking great. Keep it going. 15 seconds. Our last live workout for two days, make it count. We got three, two, and that's time. All right. Pullovers, five and five lunges. If you want to get a little extra work in, stand it up, front lunge it out, and then lay back down, get those lap pullovers. As moving to the beat here. All right, when I see we're done with that movement, when you guys stare directly in the camera, I'll know we're done. Ah! Nice work, guys. Good job, Camacho. All right. We've got 30 seconds here. Next one, in, out, squat, weight down low, regular squat position, then coming out wide, in and out. Little hop, just enough to slide your feet in and out. You don't have to hop too high. 10 more seconds to chill. Final movement in round two. We got round three up next. Third and final round, but we got to get through in and out squats coming up in three, two, let's go guys. And remember in and out squats are followed by 10 swings, five and five plank pull throughs. Fun buster in the building. We got 10 seconds. Hey, we got two new workouts, our recovery and a band class up on the website. And that's time. All right. 10 swings, five and five plank pull throughs. For those uh, new classes up on the website, we got some fun facts. It appears all of us have won some sort of high school, uh, what's the S word that they call it? Superlative? High school title. <laughs> Stefan won one, won't explain what it is, but it's a good one. So maybe do the band class. Yeah, check into the band class and into the lacrosse mobility class too. We, we discuss it there. Good, five and five.
Sweaty boys in the building. I love it. Second time through. Woo! Self five. Oh shit, my bad. <laughs> All right, guys. Second time through. Getting a little loosey goosey here in house. We got one more time, okay? Shake it out. We already know what to do. Lateral bandit walks coming up next, followed by five and five front lunge and five lap pullovers. We've got about 10 minutes, 36. And I think we can do it right on time. All right, quick transitions, guys. Let's try to make it happen. 10 minutes to get there. We're getting ready with the bands. Band it up. And we're gonna step to the beat in three, two, let's get it guys. Last round, best round, last time through each movement. Yeah, buddy, he's feeling it. 30 seconds guys, we got 15 more to go. Hey, hey, hey. Keep it going guys. Five seconds, and that's time. All right, right to it, that front lunge and lap pullover combo, five and five and five. Good guys. Hey. Good guys, marching it out. I know we're close, don't lose that form. Check in with your body. What are my knees doing? Are they over my ankles? Am I pressing evenly through my feet? Am I exploding to that standing position? Am I engaging my lats on those pullovers? These are all questions I'd probably be asking myself. Think about what you came for today. All right, guys. Shaking it out, getting ready. We got that double hand snatch on deck. 15 seconds to get there. It's power hour, baby, let's get it. 30 seconds on the clock. And we're going in three, two, let's go. What did you guys come for? I know what Stephen came for. For the low. 10 seconds, guys. Yeah, buddy, keep it moving. To the last second, we got three, two. That's time. Right into those swings if you can. 10 swings, five and five plank pull throughs. Brace those abs. Exhale as you stand up nice and tall. Really root those feet into the ground. Own the movement through the entire movement. Don't let that weight control you. Good guys. Keep it going. Five and five plank pull throughs. Great abdominal movement here. All those little stabilizers. Keep them in check. I'm watching the cam, member cam. All right, we're going back down to the ground. We got leg lifts, third of six. And another 15 seconds to get there. Sorry, Tommy V. I know I uh, cut you off there. We're going in three, two, let's get it. No, 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 no. Tommy was still moving. Might be Tommy. It's gonna be a hard one. We got 30 seconds here. Good, 15 seconds. 
Big push. We got five. We got three. And that's time. All right, front lunges and lat pullovers for efficiency. Stefan's pulling. Going to those lap pulls. Five. Five, guys. Nice work. Good guys, marching it out. Good job, Craig. All right, 30 seconds. Nice, Christy. Good job, Julie. Another 15 seconds here. Fourth one, up down curl. It's a little accelerated pace just to make sure I get you guys out of here on time. Thank you, Stefan, for the pacing. Up down curl, guys. We're going in three, two, and let's get it. Don't feel pressure to, to match this pace if it's not in the cards for you. 10 seconds down. Yeah, buddy. Extra curls here. Elbows in close. Extra curls each. I don't know about that math. All right, that's time, guys. <laughs> 10 swings, 10 swings. 10 swings followed by five and five plank pull throughs. Extra curls equals extra girls. Nice, brother. Snappy hips. Done with that bad boy. Woo, strong finish. Final two groups coming up. Couple minutes of work left. Then we'll all go enjoy our Memorial Day weekend. Woo, that's time. All right, I got 30 seconds started. Next movement. Chest press, the tricep extension, skull crusher. We're getting there. We got 10 seconds left. Getting ready for that skull crusher. Press in three, in two. Let's get it, guys. Chest press, skull crusher. Do not crush those skulls, though. Twenty seconds. Fifteen seconds, guys. Rep it out. Squeeze that kettlebell. This is another one where you create that tension. You squeeze into it. You'll feel that chest slide up. We got five. We got three, two. That's time. All right. Lap pullovers. Five and five front lunge. Stefan's right into those lap pullovers. Five guys. And it's officially 9.50, so we'll go. Probably about two minutes into overtime. Finishing out that last round. But we gotta finish out the fifth round first. Five and five, guys. Ooh. <laughs> All right, that was the last of the fifth round. Sixth and final round. Are we stoked or what? Let's make it happen. Last one's the best one. In, out, squats, 10 swings, five and five, plank pull throughs. That's all she wrote. Let's get ready. 10 seconds to get there. 
weight between our legs. We're going in three, in two, and let's get it, guys. Strong finish. Good, dig deep. See what your body can give you here. We don't want to push too high, but we want to push a little bit, right? 15 seconds. The best ability is availability. We got three seconds and that's time guys. All right, no, <laughs> no swings or 10 swings. Can't even read my writing. I said no swings, 10 swings guys. Can't believe we made it through another one. 10 swings, five and five plank pull throughs. But we did it, guys. But we're about to do it. Ooh, Nelly. Good, guys. Whatever you're done with those plank pull throughs, you just want to chill on your belly or chill on your back, either one here. Take that time, recover. If we're on our back, we're chilling. If we're on our belly, we can extend one arm out and then cross over. Taking some time there, guys. I think we may have broke Stefan today. Not at all. Dude's an animal. He killed it. Let's check that group cam. How you guys feeling? Everyone with the camera on, how you feeling? Can I get a little thumbs up? Yeah. Nice work today, guys. From the ground, if you're done there, if you want to come into a kneeling position, Get into those hips a little bit. Um, the other thing I'd encourage you guys to do, I know I mentioned it, but the lacrosse mobility class is up. Um, Catherine does a lot of really good work in that one. So just getting into those hips, those glutes, those lats, um, rhomboids, anything you're having problems with, she probably has you covered in either of those videos because we've done two now. And, and then Stefan has a band class as well. So those are both up. Good, Stefan's going into his 90, 90s. Keep it moving. Anything we want to let the people know? No changes to the schedule next week. No changes to the schedule next week. Okay, everything's already full for in-studio. Same schedule for streaming. No classes of any kind tomorrow or Monday. But you already knew that. All right, guys. Uh, 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 never mind, he said. <laughs> All right. That's going to be it from us here in studio. We love you guys. We appreciate you all. Thumbs up, hammer out, rose out. Peace.